Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Minor Premise. And this is a film written and directed by Eric Schultz, and it centers around a scientist who's trying to pick up where his dad left off in terms of mapping the brain, looking at dreams, ideas, behavior, and this character Ethan is played by Sathya Shridharan, and... The whole entire story is he starts digging into this research, he starts experimenting on himself, and he starts to realize that his body starts going into a cycle of showing different aspects of his personality. One, it's like he just falls asleep. Others, he's just like in this euphoria and he's like dancing all over. There's one particular one that seems very concerning and vicious and very dangerous, to be honest. And... He's trying to figure out how this is going on, how this relates to his research, and how he can crack this research that his father had been doing on dreams and behavior through the brain. And he winds up being partnered up with a colleague played by Pitan Ashbrook, and they're really diving deep into like this is science fiction it's very hard science fiction it's digs deep into the scientific method of what they're doing the experimenting the math behind it all of those really this film captures the how in terms of those science aspects that are incorporated into the story and it really does capture that and this reminds me of like a prime film like primer where it can be alienating with how hard science it is. Obviously, like, this isn't, like, real science. This stuff hasn't happened before. But, like, how they get deep into, like, the science behind it and the method and then being scientists and experimenting. You also see the why. Why is he driven to this? And that's where the emotional core of the film is, this influence that his father's work had on him, him trying to do right by his father's memory and him completing this and proving himself while his colleague Ali is somebody who's much more high achieving than him and focused and really might be the one who should be getting all the spotlight for what she's doing except he's the one who has this legacy and he's trying to do this he doesn't get along with people he's very antisocial he's very flat and that could be hard for you to connect with Ethan in this show. It, like, it reminded me a little bit of Abed from like, Community. He has this very flat, monotone voice and how he delivers things. And there's a sense of humor about this film at some parts in terms of how he interacts with things. There's also some horror elements. It's intense, suspenseful. And there's one particular aspect of his personality that remains a question throughout most of the film. is scary and dangerous and ups that tension. It takes a little bit for the film to settle into you understanding exactly what's going on and it can be quite muddled and confusing towards the beginning of the film when these things are first going on. You are getting into the perspective of Ethan. He doesn't know what's going on. And then as the layers are pulled back you start getting a better understanding leading up to a quite shocking turn of events as the film gets to the end it's one of those kinds of endings that can let you be thinking about this and ruminating on what just happened. And this film hits on a lot of those genre aspects and really works. It does leave you behind in terms of what they're actually doing. It can be confusing on what they're actually trying to achieve here, but the how and the why work really well. And it gives that central heart to it a bit and it also really capitalizes on the scientific nature of the film. In general, I think a lot of big sci-fi fans will get a lot out of this, especially if you are like a fan of a film like Primer. I think you'll get a lot out of this. And for some mainstream audiences, might be really turned off by this film. I don't think this film's going to turn out to be for everyone. This isn't like science fiction, like... Transformers or like Star Wars where it's accessible to so many different people. You can appreciate the science fiction but you can also appreciate the fun, the fr uh, thrills. This film is very deep into the 
human in human nature and finding out those mysteries and the science that the film focuses on a lot. So, like I said, if you're into like hard science fiction films, I think you're going to enjoy Minor Premise quite a bit. If you're not, I don't think this is really going to click for you. But as somebody who loves science fiction, I got a lot out of this. And I think this is a really high quality sci-fi film, especially for something so small budget, tight budgeted, and built off of a short from Eric Schultz to begin with. And I think he capitalizes on expanding the film quite a bit. Those are my thoughts, though, on Minor Premise. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.